Hello everyone. Take good reads give you good thing to read to listen. Today I will talk about incremental sync up from DynamoDB to Redshift. First, let's see the problem. When we use AWS, sometimes we use DynamoDB. DynamoDB is a key value NoSQL database and it provides high read and write rate and horizontal scalability. But DynamoDB is not easy to analyze data as a relational database. In the AWS, it also provides a redshift. It's a relational data warehouse which make large data set easily to be analyzed. So we can think up about this solution. Can we use both benefit of DynamoDB to handle data from the transactions and also use Redshift to analyze the data? The answer is yes. But uh, how to incremental sync up data from DynamoDB to Redshift? I provide an uh, architecture. We can see how we sync up data from the DynamoDB to the Redshift. It first used the DynamoDB stream to publish events and use the Lambda to put these events into the Firehose. Firehose Deliver Stream is a very powerful management tool and it can insert data into the Redshift. It used S3 as intermediate data storage and then finally the data put into the Redshift. We also use cron job to run the Lambda and to run a stored procedure on the Redshift. Let's see the details. For the DynamoDB stream, it provides a time-ordered log. For the event tab, it has the stream of events include insert, modify, and remove. For those stream items, it's delivered exactly once, and the stream is asynchronous. For this DynamoDB stream, it's designed for sub-second latency. It's almost real-time, so this is the very efficient way. And also, the best benefit, I think, is that for the DynamoDB stream, it doesn't consume DynamoDB read capacity. From the red side of the picture, we can see that DynamoDB stream use all the update events and it triggered the Lambda. The Lambda put the data into the Firehose delivery stream. Firehose is Kinesis Firehose. It's the easiest way to reliably capture, transform, and load streaming data into Amazon S3, Amazon Redshift, and Elasticsearch, etc. Firehose provides nearly real-time analytics. And if your data is, cannot be used into the Redshift directly, you can use Lambda to transform the data format. Firehose will first store the data into the S3 and then use the Redshift copy command to load the data from the S3 into the Redshift. Let's see the details of the Redshift copy. This command, it can load data into the table from data files or from a DynamoDB table. It's very good to load a large amount of data. It provides much more efficiency than using the insert command. The characteristic of copy is that it appends the new input data to any existing rows in the table. Maybe you can see there's a problem here. Let's reinstate all the conditions. DynamoDB events 
It includes insert and modify are put into the S3 folder. And then Firehose use Redshift to copy, load those data from the S3 folder, and append into the Redshift table. Did you see the problem? The problem is duplicated items for the events. It may have several insert or updates. And this means that for the same primary key in the Redshift, the events can be multiple copies for the same, same primary key. But for the Redshift, primary key can be duplicated. Why the such a duplicate items occur? It's because that for the Redshift copy, it's designed for immutable log-type data, such as logs, clickstream. But for our requirements, we want to sync up the data from the DynamoDB to the Redshift. In our environment, we want the data warehouse. Is, uh, the table uh, should be mutable. So we can sync up the data from the DynamoDB table. Such a conflict makes duplicated items. But how can we solve this problem? One solution is that use the absurd. Absurd is widely used uh, in other database. It means that if there is record for the primary key already in the target table, uh, we will not insert but update the record. If there's no data there, and then the record will be inserted to the target table. However, Redshift doesn't support absurd this command. It didn't provide us this feature. Thus, we have to implement by ourselves. Fortunately, Redshift provides a stored procedure in recent months. So we can use this stored procedure to implement such an absurd mechanism. Let's see how to do it. First, we use the landing table. And for the fire hose, it will copy the data from the S3 into the landing table. Then we create a staging table from the landing table data. Next, we delete duplicate primary keys from the target table. Next step is insert the unique data from the staging table into the target table. Since the last step, we already delete those primary keys. So inserting unique data into target table will ensure us there's no duplicate data into the target table. Then the last step is delete processed data from the landing table. We use such a stored procedure to finish the whole process. And we can use CloudWatch cron job to trigger the Lambda. And the Lambda is used to execute the stored procedure. In summary, we use DynamoDB stream. It's provide uh, insert, uh, modify those events and uh, processed by the Lambda. And the Lambda put into the Firehose delivery stream. The Firehose can use another Lambda to do the data, data transformation. And it put the data into the S3 as the intermediate media. And then use the Redshift copy command to put the data into the Redshift. Since the data may be duplicated, we use another lambda to trigger the Redshift stored procedure to dedupe and uh, make the data in the target table unique. Thank you for listening. This is Chani. See you next time.